What's going on everyone? Vince here with Life with Vince Lou and today is Tuesday and on Tuesdays we do question and answer. You ask, I answer. But before we get into the video, if you could do me a favor and hit that like button, it'd really help me out. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing on this YouTube channel. I'll talk about a bunch of different things. My career as a California real estate agent, powerlifting, jujitsu, ultra running. Once a week I have a live stream and once a week I also have a Q&A video. So there's a little bit of something for everyone. With that being said, let's get into today's video. And today's Q&A video is going to be a little bit different. Usually with my Q&A videos, I like to ask one question, shoot that in one clip, and then clip all the clips together. Whereas I thought I would change it up a bit just to save time and to make my life a little bit easier. I thought I would try out one big clip, kind of like a live stream, but obviously not live. I'll still put in the comments below the timestamps and also a screenshot of the questions. Uh, but it's going to be one continuous clip. And I just wanted to try this out to see if there is a big difference in terms of my viewership, in terms of my watch time. Because if there's not, then I might as well just do it this way because it makes my life a lot easier. So with that being said, let's get into today's video. First question comes from, hey, it's Calvin. How are you finding the line of work lately in regards to my career as a California real estate agent? So as of today, the 10th, it marks two official months that I've been with Keller Williams East Bay in Walnut Creek, California, and I love it so far. I work full time and actually, Today, I submitted my first official offer and fingers crossed that we get it accepted. And woo, it's been a whirlwind of yesterday and today. And it only gets easier from here because this was my first official offer. I had to consult with my mentor. I had to consult with my team on how to write the offer and then also the addendums that we attach to it. But it was a lot of fun. And in terms of how I'm finding the line of work, I honestly really love it just because one, I get to interact with people all day. And then two, I am learning so much. And for me, learning is a big thing, especially when I work and those two things things make it a lot of fun and with that being said as well that gets into the next question similar question real estate related move agenda asks are you getting used to the realtor life so it's only about two months in i'm still not really used to it but it's getting easier and the more time that i put in obviously the easier that it's getting so i feel like each day I am learning exponentially. And then I look back just from two weeks ago, I'm like, whoa, I learned a lot. And I'm just excited so that when it comes down the line, when it's a, a month later, so three months in or six months in, a year in, I'm only going to get better. I'm only going to keep sharpening my skills. So I'm super excited for this real estate journey. With that being said, let's get into the next question. Corey Steiner asks, do you think about two different shoes to rotate almost like cross training so in terms of running i do like multiple shoes and rotating them typically i only have one to two pairs of shoes right now it's really only one just because for me it's more of a frugality thing like why do i need to rotate different shoes when i run on the same type of surface every single day and i do the same loop so with me the nike react milers tend to do the job so i really don't feel the need to get a new pair of shoes i do have my nike peg 37s but again i don't really like my nike peg 37s because they are a little bit tight in the forefoot but i still have them anyways i'm not going to throw them away or not use them because i already paid for them but for the most part, for me, I only stick with one shoe just because that shoe works really well. Though, if you have two, three, or even more, like even up to five to 10 different types of shoes, especially if you are running in different terrains, maybe you're running in, in the trail, maybe you're running at the track, maybe you're running on pavement. If you have different shoes, I'm not against that. I'm for that though. For me personally, it's more of a frugality thing. I might as well just run through the mileage in one shoe before I move on to the next one. And then next question, Eric, Eric M asks, any recommendations for a good protein powder? So right now I use uh, protein isolate. I think it is, I got it from Costco. I don't know the brand because the brand is slipping 
off the top of my head right now and I can't think of it, but I'm going to put a picture up of the protein powder that I have right now. I actually got it off Costco and I usually like to get my protein at Costco just because it's cheaper, but they only have chocolate and I'm not a big fan of the chocolate. If they had vanilla, I would much more enjoy that. And I am not going to cut this clip because again, at the beginning of the video, I said it was going to be one big clip, so I don't want to go and grab it to get the name. I might as well just put the picture up. So with that being said, let's get into the next question as well. Fastella asked, with all the running, do you have a stretching routine? I do not have a stretching routine, Fastella. I should stretch a lot more, but it's just one of those things where I just don't really like doing it. And I am an advocate for stretching and I think everyone should stretch but for me in terms of running I've never really had like a serious injury because I didn't stretch right my injuries on my right leg has mainly came from over mileage shoes so like I know I should stretch but I don't because like it takes up a lot of time and like I haven't gotten injured from not stretching. I mean, if I am feeling tight, like I only stretch if I feel tight. So usually if I am starting my run, I'm about a mile in, I'm like, oh, my glutes are a little bit tight. Maybe I squatted the day before, or maybe I did a long run a day ago or two days ago. I'll, I'll stop by the side, do leg swings, and then also squat down. Because usually if I do have something that's tight, it's my hips. So I like to be in that low squat position and then just tilt back and forth. And then that'll usually stretch and open up my hips. And for me, I like doing that squat down, moving side to side one to open my hips because usually when I power lift, when I squat, when I deadlift, I'll do that anyways. Cause usually I'll have tight hips. But other than that, I don't really stretch. And again, it's one of those things where I think you should stretch, but I personally don't if I'm being honest with you. <laughs> All right, next question, Augie Silver Fitness. What exercise or sport does not interest you in the slightest? Does not interest me in the slightest. I mean, before, honestly, it was golf, but my girlfriend's dad likes to golf, so it's like, oh, I should probably pick up golfing, but golfing doesn't really, I don't know, it's not like something I would wake up for, and I don't really get excited about it. Uh, and then also, not that I don't have interest in it, but it's more of a fear. I don't like anything with water. I don't like swimming. I don't like water polo. And that's actually why I've been super hesitant uh, in doing like a triathlon or an Ironman. Like I eventually want to do an Ironman, but I can't swim. I don't know how to swim. I can't tread water. I can doggy paddle. I guess that's treading water. I can doggy paddle for about five minutes, but after that, I'm a goner, but I can also swim from A to B. So if you told me I had to swim, you know, 100 meters, I could do it to save my life. But if I'm in the middle of the ocean and I'm trying to tread water, it's not happening. I think I am a goner. So anything with water, it's more of like, I don't have interest because I, it's also a little bit of a fear as well. And I, it was from a long time ago, I think when I was a kid, uh, we went to the lake and I just don't have a good experience with water. And I don't, it's not that I don't like water because when I tell people I don't like water, it's, oh, you don't shower. It's not like that. It's more of, I don't like swimming and I've never really enjoyed it. All right, next one from Adam. Is that place staged or are the owners still living there? So I believe this was in regards to the virtual home tour that I did last week, I think it was. Uh, so that place was staged for the most part. I would say the properties that I've done virtual home tours with, it's 50-50. So half are staged and half are not. Obviously the ones that are staged, uh, it's vacant. And then the ones that are not staged, it's the furniture, people still live there. So uh, people are just out of the house and then I go in there and I do a virtual tour. And then last question from Healthy Fun Sea Hat. He asks, is the Garmin, is the Garmin Forerunner 235 waterproof? This watch right here, yes, it is waterproof. And I usually just shower with it. I don't know how far it goes in terms of 
of depth, like if you swim with it in the ocean, how far it can go down. Uh, I actually don't know, but you can look that up pretty easily on the Garmin website or on Amazon though. I do shower with it uh, just because I can wash the band. So it is water resistant. I don't know about water. Actually, that's a good question. What's the difference between water resistance and waterproof? I believe water resistance is like if you get a little bit of water on it, it'll be fine. But waterproof is if you can dunk it in water. Someone let me know. So that wraps it up in terms of the questions. I also have a few jujitsu questions, like six or seven jujitsu questions though. I thought it would be a good idea to save those jujitsu questions when I collab with Drea or Coach Bryant. So uh, I would like to save those questions because I am going to see Drea tomorrow and then I'll be seeing Coach B sometime this week or next week. So uh, I wanna attach those questions to whatever we talk about jujitsu related, just so that they can give their opinion and then I can give my opinion uh, as well, just because I haven't been super active at jujitsu class because of the whole shelter in place thing. Uh, for me, I wrote, I'm just, on the more safer side, so I haven't been going back, but those are good questions where I think Drea and Coach B would be able to give a little bit more insight, and then I'll also give my opinion as well. Uh, so with that being said, I appreciate you all taking the time to watch this video. Again, please give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing on this YouTube channel. I'll come out with daily content Mondays, real estate, Tuesdays, Q&A, Wednesdays, live stream, Thursdays, miscellaneous, Fridays, jujitsu, Saturdays, review slash searchable video, and Sundays, ultra running. If you want to catch another one of my videos, there's a video right here, and there's a video right here. With that being said, see you all tomorrow.